you've been wanting to create anchor links inside a blog post, this video is for you. So let's say you have a long form blog post with many different sections. What you can do to make it easier for your reader to access all of that content is at the very beginning, link the different sections like I have done here. I have this blog post number 70 that shows three ways to edit your blog on Squarespace. And I have update number one, update number two, and update number three. Three ways to update listed right in the beginning. If you want, you can also list them in the form of buttons. So instead of links, you have three buttons that when you click on it, goes to the relevant section. As you can see here, when I click here, it goes to section number one. When I click here, it goes to section number two. And when I click here, it goes to section number three. So let me jump into the back end of my site and show you how to create this. All right, so here I have my blog, blog post 70. I click on edit. And right here in the beginning, I'm going to list the three sections and I name these update number one, update number two, and update number three. Now go to the first section and right above it, add a code block. Inside this code block, you can drop in this code. Now, what you see in between the quotes can really be anything, just a way to identify this section. So I choose to write between the quotes number one. That's it. And you can copy this code and place it before every section of your blog post that you want to be linked in the beginning. Copy this code before we save and then click apply. Now this code block is hanging out a little bit in the middle of my section. I'm just gonna make sure that it's exactly above update method number one like this. Okay, now go to the second section you want to be linked and similarly add a code block there and just paste in that code from earlier, but this time identifying it as number two. Same thing with the third bit and as many bits you have on your blog post, you can keep doing this. Click on the code block and drop in that code, change it to number three and click apply. All right, so we've got all the sections identified. Now go to the first paragraph here and update number one, I'm going to link. And what I'm gonna do is just type in hashtag number one. So exactly the way I had it in the code, I'm going to link it. So you need the pound sign, then number two, and pound sign or hashtag number three. Okay. That's it. Click on save. Click on that arrow to see what the blog post looks like. And yes, it's jumping to the corresponding section just the way I want it to. But what if instead of links, you actually want to have it as buttons? So what you're gonna do is in that top section, add in three buttons next to each other. So I'm gonna click on that sideways teardrop, change the text to say update number one. And here in the click through URL, I'm going to add hashtag number one. I'm gonna place it right underneath. It's not giving me the line the way I want it. Sometimes you may need to add a spacer just to create that positioning or a line and that way you can place your blocks correctly and then you can delete the line later. All right, so I've got my first button. I'll do the same thing with button number two. Make sure that the click through URL is correct. Hashtag number two and I'm going to left align all my buttons here and add the final one. Update number three.
left align it all right click apply and I'm just going to move these buttons right next to each other like so all right let's see how this looks click save click on that arrow and update number one goes to the relevant section number two yes and number three is also working just the way I designed it to do wonderful so here you can see different ways either as a list of links or as three buttons you can help your audience to go to the relevant section very easily and this is how you do it I hope you found this video helpful go ahead and make this happen on your own site and do come back in the comments let me know how you have created this drop in a link I'd love to see what you have done thank you for watching and I'll see you next time bye for now <laughs>